In this video, I want to introduce you to different types of number. Now, when you first start learning about numbers, you learn about the number 1, and the number 2, and the number 3, and 4, and 5, and 6, and 7, and so on. We refer to those as the natural numbers, and mathematicians use the symbol of a double N to represent the set of natural numbers. Now, there is already some disagreement with what I've got on the board because some mathematicians uh, choose to include zero in the set of natural numbers and some don't. So there is a little bit of disagreement there, but you don't need to worry about it. You won't be asked in, an H in a GCSE maths exam, is zero a natural number? Okay. So some people then, okay, if you don't include zero in the natural numbers, then we refer to 0 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 and 9, etc. as the whole numbers. And we use a double uh, W. OK? So the whole numbers include all of the natural numbers and 0. OK, so um, you can represent it that way. Right, then you start learning about minus 1 and minus 2 and minus 3 and minus 4. You go into the negative numbers. So minus 1 and minus 5 and minus 7. Now, if you include all of the natural numbers and the 0 and all of the negatives that we have there, we refer to them as integers. Now, the mathematical symbol for integers is a double Z. OK, so when we talk about integers, we're talking about minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and etc. in both directions. OK, they are the integers. And that is one of the key takeaways from this video, that you understand that that's what we mean by integers. OK? So once you learn about the integers, you then learn about fractions. And you learn about fractions like 1 half and 3 quarters and 2 fifths or minus 2 fifths. OK? And we refer to those as the rational numbers. Now, the rational numbers uses a double-headed Q for quotient. So the rational numbers include all of the natural numbers, plus zero from the whole numbers, all of the integers, and all of the fractions where you can write one integer over another integer. Of course, you can't have 0 in the denominator because we can't divide by 0. Then, if you go one more layer outwards, then you get to numbers like pi. And you get to numbers like the square root of 2, OK? And the square root of 3, the square root of 5. And if you include everything, including all of those, we refer to those as the real numbers. And it uses a double-headed R. OK. So, essentially, we will be dealing with all of these sorts of numbers as part of the GCSE Maths course. We'll be dealing with counting numbers like 1, 2, and 3, and 0. And we'll go into negative numbers. So we're going to be dealing with integers. Okay? And remember, that is the key word, really, that we want to take away from this video. Right? That these are what we refer to as the integers. Now, then we introduce fractions. We go to rational numbers. And then pi, root 2, root 3, into thirds, and the real numbers. Now, for GCSE Maths, you do not need to know 
these symbols, okay? You do not need to be able to uh, recognize them, but it is useful, particularly if you are going on to A-level maths and taking maths that much, that bit further, okay? So it's your first introduction to it. Now, you might be thinking, right, is there anything above real numbers that includes all the real numbers plus something else? Well, yes, there are. Uh, you start introducing things like complex numbers, um, and you can go a little bit further than that, okay? But that's for another day. That's for A-level maths and A-level further maths.